This segment of Open Your Eyes is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Grace, bringing good taste to life. And welcome back. And it's a packed kitchen today. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Obviously, we're here in Grace and New Kitchen with Sharon. And Sharon, we morning. have two new helpers today. Yes, I have my guests here, and I'm learning. Today's, I'll be standing aside just helping. So. All right. <laughs> so we're going to be learning some <laughs> traditional Japanese meals. We have two Jaika volunteers with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. Okay, my name is Kotar. I'm working at Town Council. Today, I'm from Benke. Mm -hmm. I'm, my name is Ako. I live in PG, then I work with town uh, PG Town Council. All right. Then All right. Ako, you, I know you're yeah. wearing the traditional Japanese outfit. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, this is a Japanese clothing. Oh, e Especially uh, summertime, we wear like this. The fest for festival and fireworks. Mm -hmm. Then this is it. The bow, the traditional bow. There you go. Yeah, Look pretty. at that. Right there. Yeah. We have a lot of color that I decided to let color today. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Okay. So we have two new faces. Now, you guys have both been here for over a year. Yep. Right? So you are well indoctrinated with Belizean food. But now right. you are going to teach us about Japanese food, right? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is on our menu for today? Our that menu is we call the korokke. Okay. Korokke. Exactly. Cool. Okay. Now, before we do that, Ako, you're going to be making us some tea? Yes, green tea. Okay. Well, you guys so, go ahead. Why she go ahead and make the tea? I would like people to know that um, before start cooking, mm -hmm. um, in any kitchen, it's nice to keep a can of beef. Uh -huh. It's not only an air freshener, but it's also a sanitizer. You could spray it on your counters, spray it anywhere in yeah. the kitchen, and, and just wipe it down. And it's really a uh, good sanitation to start with before start cooking. Oh, so wow. just want people to know that. So we've already cleaned our counters with beef, them, so that we so have we a nice sanitized start. environment. There we go. Now, Akko, what are you doing there? You put in the tea? Yeah. Yes, it was green tea. Okay, green tea, yum. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit yeah. bitter. Yeah. Then I put the hot water. Uh huh. Do you need some help with the cup? Yes, please. All right. I'll bring them over here so we can pour them properly. So it's just um, it's just green, green tea. Right? Green tea. Okay. Yes. Green tea in hot water. Yes. I guess that's. Do you find the, the uh, green tea that you like here in Belize, or you bring yes. it? Yes. Yeah. We could we could find green tea. And is it uh, is it just um, just the tea? It's good to just drink it as a tea, or yes, could you yes. add anything we to it? Yes, we prefer green tea. Just natural. Okay. Natural. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No sugar and milk. <laughs> no. <laughs> we like everything sweet here. We put everything. We put sugar and milk in everything. Okay. All right. Oh, that's nice. Yes. This is it. All right. Okay. How do you say your uh, your tea in? Um, Japanese. Ocha. 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 So we're having o ocha. ocha. Arigato. Okay. Arigato. Mm. I know that one. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Yes. Great. So do we cheers? Yes. Kanpai. Let's get cooking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. It's yeah. good. So All now right. we get cooking, and we're yes. going to make so cool. okay. You want to go ahead? Actually, uh, now we started uh, stir some uh, onion and mm -hmm. beef. Mm -hmm. So what he did there was start pre. He did a pre cook uh, okay. of onions and just onion and ground beef. Mm -hmm. and All right. We are going to put some seasoning for mm -hmm. chicken bouillon. So he's using the the mal the malpa, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, the malpa consomme, black pepper. pepper. Yep. That's right. Okay, there you go. So let's open this. Mm -hmm. Have you guys been uh, teaching people in PG and Benke how to make how to um, make Japanese food? Yeah, kind of Japanese food. Yeah. Uh, but I have never teach the kaoke. Yeah. <laughs> What's been the favorite for the people that live in your community? Uh, I prepared a kind of sushi, but they didn't like it. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Yeah. Do you have a spoon? Sure. And what have you tried to cook for um, for people Thank in Benke? Hmm? 
Benke? Yeah. I tried a sushi. Uh -huh. Did they I, like it? Yeah, I, yeah. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> or they just told you yes. <laughs> and I had a, a Japanese Let me have a Japanese noodle which called udon. Mm -hmm. It's very thick white noodle. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, I made a Japanese pizza called okonomiyake. That's yeah. a long name. Okonoma. Okonomiyaki. Okay. Okonomiyaki. Nice. Yeah. All right. It's a basic flour. Okay. I put flour, I'll cabbage, put uh, kind garlic. of meat. So you're adding a little bit mm -hmm. of the garlic, garlic Yes. Oh, and wow. Yeah. And that's what you call Japanese and pizza? This is mm -hmm. rock pepper. My friend really like it. Yeah. Well, we like pizza anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, this smells fantastic. So this is just ground beef, onions, onion. and your seasoning. Exactly. That's fine. Yeah. There's no no oil in there, so because mm -hmm. the, the the beef um, let go the, the oil from the beef. That's okay. all right. he's right. using there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do you need? Mm -hmm. No, you can talk about the corned beef. Oh, okay. Yeah. What what we what what he's saying here that this is the ground beef that um that he's using today. But yeah. You could also use the the grazed corned beef. Oh. To do this with, or if you want something uh, with uh, fish, uh -huh. you could use a tuna. So it's it, you have a choice. Okay, so you it's can make it just, with any kind it's of It's not meat. just, yeah, mm -hmm. it's not just ground beef. If you like curry, you can put curry powder. Mm. So you could also do the flavor. Yeah. If you want, you can put some curry powder too. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a favorite dish for you guys? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think this is we need, we need potato. Okay. What are we going to do with the potatoes? If it's, it's a boiled. Mm hmm So now. You mash them? Yes. Is it like a mashed potato that mm -hmm. you're making? Okay. Yeah. And no seasoning. No seasoning. Okay. So what you're going to be doing is putting uh, your meat in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that has all the seasoning in there yes. already. Okay. Oh. There you go. All right. So. All right, Akko, you're strong, I see. We <laughs> <laughs> really am full <so> weak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. We'll you. have to ask the chef. Is that good uh, enough? Yeah. yeah, I think it's good enough. It's pretty much done. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. This so it's really it, smells so nice. Mm -hmm. It's already good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have uh, the, ground, um, the ground steak. With onions and um, and uh, garlic and pepper, okay, and a little consomme. Yes. Okay, bring it over here. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh. So this keeps on cooking. So, you mix this in. Yes, I will. Go mm -hmm. ahead. All right. So what he has here is um, this is some uh, wheat flour. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, you could use white flour as well. Okay. Uh, this is some eggs and breadcrumbs. So, you want me to? We're gonna whip the egg up here a bit. Yes, please. There you go. And this is the f finishing touch for all this. There you go. Then we should put. Yeah. Oil. All right. So I'll step over here and do that for you. Add so this is going to be essentially battered and fried. Fried. That's it. Okay. It's going to be deep fried. Mm -hmm. That's enough? Mm -hmm. It's a little deep fried. Yeah. And we put this on here. There you go. What? I see you're getting hands on now. Yep. <laughs> do you like cooking? Yes, pretty yeah. much. I do cooking every day. Yeah. Have you learned to cook any Belizean meals yet? Yeah. I like uh, rice and beans. Ah. I cook tortilla. Uh -huh. Which tortilla? Do you make the corn? Uh, like no, how you're in the south? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> first time, All right. first time I couldn't make a good tortilla, just uh -huh. uh, like a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> so now you make them nice and thin? Yeah, I think so. Wow. <laughs> you're better than I am. Then. Oh, really? <laughs> So we're going to make them off and dip them in all this stuff here, huh? Mm. Now, what is it like sharing uh, your cultural food and practices with people in the different communities that you are? Or when you told me that you do environmental education in mm -hmm. schools and whatnot, when you go into the schools, are you dressed in your Japanese? Well, uh, not every day. Yeah. <laughs> but well, how do they respond? Uh, 
the, it was a culture day. Mm -hmm. I introduced Japanese culture, then I oh, put them on. Yes. So yeah. we have the kids. These are, these are kids okay. in Punta Gorda? Yes. Wearing One the Japanese school. outfit. Yeah. This is a Jaika calendar. Do you yeah. want me to, to, to put them in here so we could start? Then they like it. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so we want people to know here he's going to be um, <laughs> dipping. He makes them into little patties. Patties, yeah. Patties. yeah. 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 That's right. All right. right. Go ahead. And so you're going to be. With some flowers. Okay. Frost. Okay. Now you chose to use wheat flour, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And now put in an egg. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's flour and it's eggs and breadcrumbs, huh? This is breadcrumbs. Okay. Oh man, I know this is going to be delicious. Mm hmm. All right. All righty. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's actually pretty easy, and it's something yeah. that uh, people could make off, and I guess you could put it in um, plastic or something and Just put it in your fridge. Just to fry later on, yeah. And then you could, all, you yeah. could fry it whenever you, you need it. You and know? I'm sure so with the potatoes, it's going to be very filling. It's, it's th almost, that's yeah, right. It's a, it's a, it's a meal. Self-contained meal, yeah. That's right. So, mm. and something you could do pre-do ahead of time and just stuck it in the fridge until yeah. you're ready to fry it. All right. So we have two ready here. There go. The fat is all heated. It should be. And ready to go. All right, let me put these two in. Sure. Meanwhile, you make the other it's all. Okay. All right, ready to go. And here, that sizzle. Mm -hmm. So we have two there to go. I and this is all essentially cooked, so it'd be just to seal the outside, is that it? Yes, to get it mm -hmm. all nice and, and brown. brown. Let me get a... Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I brought a yeah. oh, oh, cooking okay. chopstick. Well, well, one. Well, there you go. <laughs> Using a chopstick with, yeah. is not my department, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is my part. All yeah. right. So let me go ahead and... Okay, so I was telling you earlier... Mm -hmm. and, I, and I will announce it on television, but I think I've said it before, that I, I'm, I really struggle with chopsticks. I always try using them. I've had many people try to teach me. So let's do a little how-to okay. on how to use the chopstick, right? Okay. So you'll go ahead. The camera's right there. Okay. I hope I'm going to be a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can do it, then you taught me well. Okay. I'm going to prefer the one chopstick, mm -hmm. hold uh, like a pencil, mm -hmm. three finger. Mm -hmm. Then put another one here. So you just push. Okay, let's do it this way. So the yes. first one is held like a pencil. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes through here. Yes, behind these fingers. Behind, all oh, right. Then use. So essentially this one is stationary and this yeah. one is the one that you mm -hmm. use to move around. All right. So we got to use. It looks lesson. pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, I know that. <laughs> that. I know that. <laughs> I always start off eating with chopsticks and then halfway through, I'm like, okay, let me, let me give in and just get a fork. <laughs> but you can keep halfway. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. Also, I guess you want to talk about uh, Girls' Day. They have a Girls' Day in yes, uh, yes. March mm -hmm. 3rd. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in we Japanese. have a Girls' Day, especially young girls. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, we show the, uh, we display the doll mm -hmm. for the girl. This is, I mean, uh, we wish uh, girls grow uh, healthy mm -hmm. and happiness, mm -hmm. like this. Okay. That's so very when is colorful. it going to be? Yeah. It is the third merch. Okay. Yes. And you guys have regular activities that you do. Um, you had the Japanese festival. You usually have that every year? Yes. Okay. Oh, I mean, summertime? Mm -hmm. yeah. In summertime, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the events we can look forward to as well. You ready to take them out? And how are we doing with well, our color? You could put them right here. Sure. I think a little bit more. A you need a little bit more? more? Okay. Mm, Is it too good. high? It smells so good. Is it too high? Yeah, I think it's too high. All right, there you go. So now we have, uh, I can't pronounce though. Yeah. You can't pronounce it. Oh, it, the color key. Color key. Color key. Color key. Okay, there you go. Okay. Right. One down. There you go. Good. So, like you said, it's it's a filling meal because of the potatoes. Yeah. So it's. But we do have some stuff prepared that we're yes. going to be serving it with, right? This is a Japanese style. Mm-hmm. 
We have a uh, white rice here. Mm -hmm. Then this is a miso soup. Do miso you know soup, yeah, yeah, I like miso soup. Know, miso yeah. soup. And also, uh, what they're saying that you could use some uh, as a sauce to dip mm -hmm. it in, mm -hmm. or to eat, you know, to use along with it. Mm -hmm. Some uh, mayonnaise here. We're using some grace um, mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and um, some ketchup. Mm -hmm. So we're making a little sauce for it, and. Um, a little bit of sour sauce, gray sour sauce. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a teaspoon there. Mm -hmm. And for people that like spice, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of pepper. And we have a, we have a sauce here. All right, mm. there you go. So, and that's gonna be a nice dipping sauce for this is the color. This is one sauce that they could use to to eat it along with. She has yes. another sauce, uh, yes. another uh, dipping sauce. Another piece. one. Okay. Very good. We use a boiled egg. Let me see what's happening over here. Yes. So we have a boiled egg. Yes. Mm -hmm. I already yes. mashed it. You mashed it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boiled egg and onion. Mm -hmm. I had onion. Mm -hmm. Oh. And a little bit parsley. Okay. Okay, mayonnaise and salt and pepper. Okay, I have some pepper here. Do you have some salt? Yep. All right. <laughs> so you have uh, two sauce that you could um that, that you goes use. very well with it. Then mm -hmm. throw in the pepper. Yes, please. How much pepper do we need? Just uh, a little bit. Just a little. All right. So that's mayonnaise, eggs, mm -hmm. and Onion. uh, onions, and, and uh, parsley. And parsley, okay. And a little bit yeah. of salt and pepper. All mm -hmm. right. And that's an additional sauce that you can use for your color. For, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Excellent. Well, guys, I definitely want to thank you for. Uh, have we covered most of our uh, all of our cooking for today? Yes, we yes, have. Yes, it's all. It's all done. And it smells so good. I can't wait to taste this. <laughs> um, I do want to thank you guys, of course, we for need to put a couple of them right joining here. us and being able to... Um, mm -hmm. You can put it right yeah. on the side there. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Like this? And yeah. sharing some of the Japanese meals. William, I'm sure you're excited about trying this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to sample first and then you can tell me. Okay. And there you go, Maggie. All right. So let's see. So it's gonna be a it was a pleasure to have you guys on the show. Absolutely. And yeah, I let me set this down. Learn something new. Yeah, I'm very happy <laughs> to be here. Thank you very much. Okay. It's hot. It's hot. Careful, it's very hot. Now I get to test your 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 skills as a chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you right now what it's like. I dropped it. All right. Well, like I said, it's uh, another mm. easy recipe, and people could make it ahead of time and store it in the it's refrigerator. So, so yeah, mm -hmm. and and they make them off when they're and you it's know, so fry them easy. When they're easy. Yeah, it's, easy, it's easy. so easy. So definitely there we go. want to thank you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had some Japanese style koloke. And Grace and you for today. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. And when I come, uh, when you come back, I'm going to be with William for our wrap up. So stay tuned. segment of Open Your Eyes is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Grace, bringing good taste to life. It's delicious. Oh, Grace, I'm so anxious. Because I'm falling in love with your new product. Grace, don't turn me. Granny, please don't turn me.
10. Smart brings you a triple up and double up day. Get three times more out of your dollar this Friday, March 30th. Recharge with prepaid cards, Gimme Dollar Agents, Go Mobile, The Smart Lounge at smart-bc.com, and Easy Top at easytop.com. So triple up. triple up and double up with Smart this Friday, March 30th.